The story that we're going to read today is called Rain. The author and illustrator is Manya Stojic. Manya Stojic was born in Yugoslavia. Now she lives in England. She went to college to become an artist. Ms. Stojic has lived in many places, including the United States. She made up the story for Rain while living in Africa. Like her, many of you may have lived in different places. So think about some of the places where you've lived and maybe that could be could give you an idea for some stories we're going to write. Rain. The characters in this story are a porcupine, a zebra, a baboon, rhino, and a lion. The setting or where the story happens is a place called the African savanna or the African grasslands. The time is two different seasons. The first part of the story takes place on the on the African plain or the African grasslands or the savanna in the dry season and the second half of the story happens in the savanna during the wet season. It was hot. Everything was hot and dry. The red soil was hot and dry and cracked. What do you notice about the yellow grass? Why do you think it's yellow? And look at the soil. What color is the soil? And why is it cracked? A porcupine sniffed around. It's time, she whispered. The rain is coming. I can smell it. I must tell the zebras. Where do you think porcupine is? Look at the images around the porcupine. And why do you think porcupine is there? Lightning flash. The rain is coming, said the zebras. Porcupine can smell it. We can see it. We must tell the baboons. What sense did porcupine use to know that it was going to rain? What sense do the zebras use to know that it's going to rain? Look at the sky in the background. What do you notice? Thunder boomed. The rain is coming, cried the baboons. Porcupine can smell it. The zebras can see it. We can hear it. We must tell the rhino. How do the baboons know it's going to rain? What sense did they use? What do you notice about the grass? And look at the sky. A raindrop splashed. The rain is here, said the rhino. Porcupine smelled it. The zebras saw it. The baboons heard it, and I felt it. I must tell the lion. What sense did the, the rhino use to know that it's going to rain? Look at the tree. Why do you think the tree has no leaves?
The lion spoke in a deep purr. Yes, the rain is here. I can smell it. I can see it. I can hear it. I can feel it. And, he sighed, I can taste it. What sense or senses does the lion use to know that it's going to rain? It rained and it rained and it rained. It rained until every river gushed and gurgled. It rained until every water hole was full. Then the rain stopped. And everywhere long feathery grasses grew from the soil. What do you notice about the tree now? What color is the grass? What about the sky? Every tree began, began to sprout fresh green leaves. Are there any different animals out now than before? I can't taste the rain now, purred the lion but I can enjoy the shade of these big green leaves. What sense does the lion use? I can't feel the rain now, said the rhino, but I can lie in the cool, soft, squelchy mud. What do you notice now about the soil? And what sense does the rhino use? We can't hear the rain now, shouted the baboons, but we can eat fresh, juicy fruit from these trees. What do you notice now about the trees? And what sense does the do the baboons use to know? We can't see the rain now, said the zebras, but we can have a refreshing drink from the water water hole. What do you notice now that you didn't notice before the rain? What sense do the zebras use? I can't smell the rain now, whispered the porcupine, but I know that it will come back again when it's time. Where is the porcupine now, and why? The sun shone over the plain. It was hot. Everything was drying out. What do you notice now about the soil and the grass? And where is the porcupine? The red soil was hot and dry. A tiny crack appeared.